How's it? Hey, Luz. Oh. I'm grateful to be alive. Alright. Last night, about 10-ish, I got a little notice. I look at it. It was a little YouTube thing. I'm like, what? Someone's sending me something. And I look, and it was the news. The one I listened to here. An earthquake of 8.7 on the Richter scale. 8, or 7.8. That's it. 7.8 on the Richter scale. That's big. The great earthquake of San Francisco was 8.2. 7.8 is big. In the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. And... In Hawaii, we were in the direct line of a tsunami, the big wave. And that was going to impact the island here. 12.50. In the morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, it didn't hit the islands. It, I don't know, I'm on the south shore, so I can't. <laughs> can't can't bounce for the, um, on the windward side, but it also at one o'clock in the morning, a hurricane, a hurricane, went to category one. Five high, one low. It's at one. It's going to go up to two in a couple days. It has no wind shear, no cool water between here and there. This is going to come this weekend. Now think of a bowling alley. You know the bowling pins? It's like a freaking, it's bowling down like the bowling alley. It's got, you know, it's ready for a strike. 12 pin, whatever it is. 9 pin. <sighs> Except this is going to decrease. So that means we're going to get tons and tons of rain which is going to be problematic as rain is when over here trees will fall and power will go out and roads go crazy too much rain is and that's what happens tropical storm this weekend so that's that scoop there's going to be a lot on reporting on that now headlines hurricanes earthquakes tsunamis Come on down. Aloha. <laughs> Get your 14-day supply of masks. That's what they want. 14-day supply of masks, hand sanitizer, gel, and whatever. Oh, don't forget toilet paper. You can't have enough toilet paper. Because we all go sheet up. Shorts. <laughs> over and over again. Today is the, what is that, whatever, the 22nd, right? 22-2020. 7-22-2020. Now, headline is the, this is Teachers Union. They're calling for a delay. They're not ready to open. They say, we're not ready to open. We can't do this. We're not ready. We're not ready. It's kind of funny. The people in the employment, the airlines, the schools now, they're all like, ah, everyone's going to wear a mask. If they're going to wear a mask, it's super, super, you know, like trying to have everybody go to caution of wearing masks and protection, personal PPE, the other PP, personal protection equipment, and, <laughs> and, and the, the unions and employees, everybody's going to be... But when it comes to people on the street, they'll go to... Anything from a barbecue to a riot. <laughs> Just rip off their mask and bicycle. <laughs> Humans. I don't understand my own species. <laughs> of course not. I don't even understand them. I don't even understand myself. I don't know. What am I talking about? Our president is giving us a different message about being more cautious and wearing masks. See, they, they, it's like they put a filter over his mouth and he started saying different things. <laughs> you know, where, he's saying, 
this ain't over with yet. We should wear masks. Buckle up. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Wear some masks. It's patriotic to wear masks. I heard him say that. No. Let's see. February. March. April. May. June. July. Almost August. Five months ago. That's when you should have been saying that. Five months. Better late than never. But when it's this late, it's kind of like, yeah, take a back shelf, buddy. But there's also kind of weird stuff. Okay, there's na na na. Just kind of things. Put on masks. He doesn't have one on. Oh, he has one in his hand. Like the Bible. I got one of these. Creepy, it's creepy, because it's all kind of, I see it, it's all election. COVID patients appear less sick than others. I think I keep it safe. They're worried about the hotels, and there's the hurricane thing. It's going to be hurricane. Hurricane, hurricane. <clears throat> it's like after the movie Jaws, you know? No one wanted to go swimming in the water for a long time. They don't understand sharks. And, um, <laughs> in Hawaii, man, you just go, Hurricane! And everyone's like, ah, I gotta buy toilet paper and batteries! Toilet paper and batteries? Oh, here we go. And this is also a upcoming. Look at this. This is one of the mayor. <laughs> I tell you about the shark tooth guy with the shark tooth club. Yeah, he was running for mayor of the Big Island. <laughs> now, on the upper level, mayor of Honolulu, I guess. The more popular, they got a lot of business guys, all kind of people. Twelve, and they got probably have five main ones. It's gonna whittle down fast. Twelve mayor hopefuls. This guy is one of them. Now I don't know too much about this guy. He's a politician he looks kind of like a businessman. I just call him boogeyman. I just make them. <laughs> they're public figures. You can do that. Now this guy's thing is that Honolulu is at a crossroads. It's about you. You know, swaying and it gets to the psyche. It's supposed to be, it's about you. No, that's going to appeal to my egotistical self. Yeah, man, it's about me. This going to appeal to my low self-esteem. It's about me, really? No one even asked me. It's about you. Not me, you. <laughs> creepy already but they try to get you but here's the thing why I'm putting this out Honolulu is at a crossroads crossroads you know that this is you know what that goes in Americana crossroads you know those old blues songs yeah the blues at the crossroads the blues man and then I came down come down to the crossroads when you come to a crossroads it's it's a, it's a metaphor and also a real story but it's a metaphor of what should I do with my life should I you know turn over a new leaf or just try to get all I can from other people what can I get from you should I turn over a new leaf they're in a, in, indecision they're at a crossroads but it comes from a real blues story of a real blues man back in the blues days which is like you know the 20s and 30s and stuff like that 19, 1930s and he wasn't too good, I'm giving you the pff, thumbnail version of this, he wasn't too good, and he went down to this place, and it's a crossroads, like Route 66, going east and west, and then there's this other road that goes up north to, like, Chicago, because that's where all the honky-tonks that paid money were, and down here they didn't have much money, so at the crossroads, <clears throat> so it was a symbolic area for blues people, the guitar kind of, hey, I got it. Got a little empty, empty suitcase and blues guitar. Uh, so, this guy went to the crossroads and he wasn't seen for days and days on end or something. Then he came back to the honky tonks in that area or whatever, the little places to play guitar. And all of a sudden he was really, really good. He was like fantastically good. All the blues, other guys are like going, wow, you're good. How did you get so good? And the whole thing was, he must have sold his soul to the devil. So the whole at the crossroads thing, the devil came down to Georgia. 
is like you go to the crossroads. He, he supposedly went to the crossroads and sold his soul to Satan to get really good. And so that whole metaphor of the crossroads is like you're either either sell your soul to the devil or turn over a new leaf and accept what you get. But that's the whole crossroad thing. <laughs> this guy's this guy's going. Honolulu is at the crossroads. <laughs> oh, bad setup. Well, if you do anything about it, maybe nobody knows about that stuff, but that's kind of like, uh, oopsie. I want to make myself look good so you'll vote with me. Oh, by the way, you know, I was trying to be other hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, election guide, and yeah, the mail-in ballot. <sighs> Hurricane. Anyways, this is the one I wanted to set. This is the one. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is Wednesday, so... Postmasters is soon... I have to hurry up. Debate over virus relief grows heated amongst GOP. That's the Republicans. This is wild. Everybody watch this stuff. The price, the price tag for the COVID aid package went quickly to swell about one trillion dollars. That's for the Republicans. About to reopen schools, small businesses, virus testing. And the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch O'Connell, you know that guy, who's a promised new round of direct payments. Oh boy. President Donald Trump sits, insists on the payroll tax, insists on a payroll tax holiday, on payroll tax holiday for workers. Whatever that is. I don't know. But he's working on something for the holidays. And what's to outfit schools and shore up governments? Regretfully, this is not over, says the big. The lunch, okay, they're in lunch sessions, and some people have access to the back, and they're okay with reporting and what they hear spoken about in the lunch rooms. The lunch session grew heated as for key Republican complained. Key Republicans complained about big spending, vowing to stall the relief bill's passage. They don't want it to go through. Supporters of the package should, quote, be ashamed of themselves, said Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky. No, I know some people. Actually, I know some people from Tennessee, so they're not Kentucky. Kentuckians. Paul compared GOP backers of the spending to Bernie bros. <laughs> you Bernie bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Referring to young supporters of Journey Run River. This is insane, Senator Sanders. Or no, Senator Rand Paul. This is insane. There's no difference now between the two parties. As a long line of senators rose to speak about aspects of the bill, Senator Ted Cruz asked his colleagues. What in the hell are we doing? Cruz warned, if the economy, it will shut down, it will come in November. It's, the economy is still shut down come November. Joe Biden will win the White House. Democrats will rule the Senate. And, quote, we'll be meeting in a much smaller lunchroom. <laughs> The whole world will go to crap. And that other guy will win. And that other political party will win. And we'll have a much smaller lunchroom. If that don't get you, nothing will. Senator Rick Scott of Florida is saying that's wrong to pass the bailout cash strap for states. Says Senator Rick Scott of Florida, quote, Florida taxpayers are not going to pay for New York's expenses. Hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Republicans are rolling out a $1 trillion thing, and that's what's making them all. McConnell saying is the starting point. The counter rollout 
is Pelosi, the Democrats, three trillion. That's this trillion with the T. So they're going, okay, we'll do one trillion. We're upping it to one trillion. And they're going, yeah, well, we're going to three trillion. <laughs> Holy crap. As they race to strike a deal by the end of the month. <sighs> McConnell's package would send fresh round of direct cash payments to Americans below a certain income, likely $75,000 for singles. Did I read that right? $75,000? Extend, extend small business loans under Paycheck Protection Program. Wow, so a single person gets seventy-five thousand dollars. Is that right? <laughs> bye bye debt. Yeah. Then I get this debt. It's a crypto. It's a scam thing. Cryptos are good. The scammers are wrong. It's also expected to include one hundred five billion for education, seventy billion to help K to twelve schools reopen 30 billion for colleges so that's like 205 billion dollars to skill and then five billion dollars for governors to reallocate to their states <laughs> I think we know where big business you know higher education is big business it's dollars cha-ching you know, like tuition are you kidding me Republicans went to play six hundred so what? Some Republicans prefer eliminating the six hundred dollar benefit. That's your own PPP thing. The president's priorities are splitting the GOP. Trump wants to repeal the payroll tax, which funds Social Security and Medicare. So those are going down, down, down. So much for Social Security, you think you're gonna retire well. He's in the payroll taxes, dividing the party. Supporters say cutting it now would put money in people's pockets. Admission also plans McConnell's proposed $25 billion more for virus testing. Well. Yes. It's not a $65 million question anymore. It's a $65 billion question. Who to vote for? Uh, please vote. Vote with your conscience. Vote as you will. Vote intelligently. But above all, that's the news. Hang loose. Hang loose. No hurricanes, no tsunamis either. Hang loose. Ah, uh, your mongoose. Aloha.